Now, as always, before we get into the video, I'll be a couple of episodes ahead over on my Patreon, where I'll be reacting to the entire episode of Lost. So if you're interested in that, the link will be in the description. But as for now, hope you enjoy the video. Right then, so here we are. We have reached the end of Season 1 of Lost. This is a three-part finale, titled Exodus. Now, going into this three-part finale, there's two things I'm interested in. The hatch, of course, it's the big talking point. I want to know what the hell is in that hatch, what is up with it. Why was Walt acting weird saying don't open the hatch to John when he doesn't even know about the hatch? But it was only when John touched him that he started speaking about it. His whole attitude changed. And we know John's all about the island um, giving him signs. So, you know, I wonder what John's going to think about that now. Will he still be as eager to open it? Because Saeed did say there is no handle. What if that's a sign that it's not meant to be opened? And I, I was saying that. What if the fact there's no handle, you know, what, what if that means it's not meant to be opened? So a lot of shit could come with it. And the second thing that I'm really interested in is the raft. Now, we have Jin, Sawyer, Michael and Walt. They're all getting on this raft and they're going to go look for help, try and get off the island. Kind of just don't see that happening, to be honest. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Can they even escape the island? I mean, it's so strange. I wouldn't be surprised if they, they try and get off, they try and escape. But like, the island just will pull them back in. They, they can't get away. So yeah, I'm not going to go into a lot before this episode. I'm eager to get into this finale. I feel like it's going to be a big one. I feel like it's going to be nuts. It's a three-parter. And yeah, I am ready. So this is Season 1, Episode 23 of Lost, titled Exodus Part 1. Let's get into it. The Hand. Watching some Power Rangers. At 523. Jeez. 23, the numbers again. Damn, Walt. We're just going to leave at that time. You're going to wake the whole place up. You're not my father. Walt really didn't want to get on that plane with his dad. We weren't even like three minutes into the episode and we already saw one of the numbers. I'm guessing this is going to be a hell of a finale. Something's already going to happen. Danielle? What the hell is she doing here? And I kind of figured we'd see her in this episode because she was in the previously. But arriving to the camp. Why? And she's armed. People are going to freak out. Is Saeed or Hurley here at least to tell everyone? They're probably going to guess. Oh, Saeed is here. Sorry, I guessed it. What does she want? What are you doing here? Exactly. The others are coming. How do you know? Why are they coming? What the fuck? The baby and I were together for only one week. Then I saw black smoke. For one week. That was Alex, right? Five kilometers inland. So is that how you know? You've seen smoke? Took her. They're coming for all of you. Who's coming? For all of you. Others. You have only three choices. Run. Hide. Or die. Oh, I don't like this. And then push, okay? Got it? Okay. Ready? Okay. And I like this with the Four. music. A lot of these characters have had problems with each other. Two. As we've seen throughout the whole season. But they're all coming together for this moment to get the raft going. Oh fuck. Come on. <laughs> oh shit. Black smoke, isn't it? Yep. That was the sign. Man, that pan around of all the characters. If you're 40 people, where will you hide them? The hatch. Is that where this will come into play? Dude. How are they going to get it open? Unless you blow the thing up. You booby trapped your shelter with explosives. Do you have any more? Right. See? Dynamite. At the Black Rock. At the Black Rock? In the dark territory. Well, that's three reasons to go right there. <laughs> Shit, I said that. Explosives. Of course, Shadow Place booby trapped. So they are going to blow this thing open. This is great so far. Oh shit. 
Michelle Rodriguez, hello. Ana Lucia. I hate flying. And they stuck me all the way in the back of the plane. So she died in the crash. 42F. Want to trade? The numbers. They're everywhere. Hey. We just work faster this way, okay? I'll run over here. Ah, uh, multiple flashbacks. I like this. I got into a bar fight. Instead of bad bar fight? In this country, you know, you're not even worth what it would cost us to incarcerate you. Which is why you're being deported. Your plane leaves this afternoon. That's why he's on the flight. He, never he was deported. Good luck, Sawyer. Jack. About a week before we all got on the plane. Oh, shit. He's going to tell him that he met his dad. American too. It turns out this guy has a son. His son's a doctor too. They'd had some kind of big time falling out. <laughs> the guy knew it was his fault. Even though his son was back in the States thinking the same damn thing. See, kids are like dogs. If you knock them around enough, they'll think they did something to deserve it. Payphone in this bar, and this guy, Christian. Yeah. Tells me he wishes he had the stones to pick up the phone, call his kid. Tell him he's sorry. He's a better doctor than he'll ever be. Damn. I'm really glad Sawyer told Jack this. Small world, huh? Damn right. Yeah. Good luck, Jack. Damn. Great scene. Great scene right there. This belonged to her childhood sweetheart. She got killed a couple of years ago when she was on the run. Poor guy. A couple of years ago. God, okay, come on. What was his name? Oh, you son of a bitch. oh, damn. I'm loving this episode so far. Just showing all these little flashbacks with all different characters. It's not based on one character specifically. And then you've got the others coming. So you're heading out? Ah. Dude! <laughs> and he looks at it. I don't like all these goodbyes. Is this going to be some sort of thing where they meet down the line? It's goodbye for now, but I'll see you later. Where'd you get the scratches? A bush. That's weird because the scratches that she had were kind of like Ethan. You know, he on his face had the four scratches, a bit like that. That was no bush. How about I just call you by your first name? How about you don't? Why not? I remember it from the Plains Manifest. I think Leslie's a bitchin' name. Aren't you just fine? <laughs> the Black Rock is not far. This is where it all began. When my team got infected, when Montan lost his arm. We must move quickly. Infected, lost his arm. You know what? I'm going back. Hey. <laughs> You're in this now, man. Montan lost his freaking arm. Well, what about. Oh, it's raining. Shit always goes down when it's raining. Man, there's so much I'm thinking about right now. This is the dark territory. What the hell is that? Oh no. It's the monster. Remember before, John Locke. The monster was coming towards him. And he escaped it somehow. It's headed the other way. What was that thing? Well, you clearly can't see it. Security system. What does that mean? Its purpose is that of any security systems. To protect something. An invisible monster protects the island? Uh. I think you should take Vincent. Oh, damn. Yeah, I just realised. Vincent ain't gonna get on the raft. Vincent took care of me when my mom died. Right. Excuse me, would you mind watching my bag for a moment? I'll be right back. Wow. Sure, How strange is that? You're at the Black Rock. Oh, she's put down some English for him so you can communicate with him on the raft. Oh, that better not be goodbye for good. Because that will fucking suck. All these goodbyes, man. Guess that's it. Off they go. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Oh, he really wants to go back with Walt. Of course, the black smoke for the next part. Shit. Well, the end of that episode was something. With the soundtrack and the goodbyes, that gin and sun scene. Man. So Sawyer, Michael, Walt and Jin, they're on the raft and they've gone. They could turn up somewhere down the line, I suppose. We have Danielle who's brought Jack and the others to the Black Rock. So that will be continued in the next part. Danielle said something very interesting though, that she's with her baby, with Alex for one week. And then the others took her. How long has Claire been with her baby for? Start what they're after. I mean, Daniel said they're after everyone, but that's that's a bit strange. And the look that she gave um, Claire when she arrived, I mean, that could be because you know, the first time she's seen a baby in a very long time, and it reminds her of Alex, the black smoke. Man, there's a lot. There's a lot. They're in dark territory, and that monster appeared again. And apparently, it's like a security system to protect the island. Man, see, there's so much still that's like, what does that mean? I mean, that was a brilliant episode, or part of the episode, rather. Um, yeah, the soundtrack in that was great. I love how we got multiple flashbacks with different characters in this as well. Um, it's a nice touch, very different and refreshing. The flashbacks we got in this episode with the certain characters were very interesting. Like we had Shannon, she kind of met Syed before everything. He wanted her to look after his bags. And we also had the Sawyer flashback, in which at first I thought it was the same scene as the episode Hearts and Minds with uh, Boone. When he was talking to the officer, we saw Sawyer in the background. But when Sawyer was getting dragged off, he said something. And in this scene, that wasn't the case. So um, I guess that scene was before this one. He got into a bar fight. That's why he was saying... You haven't heard my side of the story. So, um, yeah. Because so I was looking for Boone in the background, but I realised, I was like, oh, okay. Um, that's not the same scene then. You really do have to keep in mind certain things, don't you? With the characters. And there's so much. Of course you're going to miss things. But um, the stuff that you do get, and the stuff that you do remember, man, it really does just make you think, Phew. they must plant stuff early on. There's definitely stuff... I guarantee if I watch stuff back, there's going to be things I notice where I'm like, whoa, that's cool. They kind of told us way before. And then we had Jack, who uh, had something with Michelle Rodriguez's character. Her name was Ana Lucia, I think. I wonder where that's going. And she was on the flight. So she died on the flight. She was at the back of the plane. 42F was her seat. And Jack's was 23B. So, you know, there's the numbers again, 42 and 23. We saw the numbers as well, 23 once again. At the beginning of the episode, the time was 5.23am when Walt was watching Power Rangers the night before the flight. Now, one scene that I really loved in this episode was when Sawyer told Jack that he met his dad Christian in the bar. Um, and I said before, it would be nice for Sawyer to tell him. And Jack, it would be good for Jack to hear that. Because, um, yeah, Christian said that he would like to call his son Tim. He's proud of him. And he loves him. And the fact that Jack and Sawyer have been enemies on the island the whole season. They've been bickering. They've been clashing. So, you know, that last bit there where they kind of said goodbye. I like that. I like that scene a lot. The character development on this show is amazing. I'm guessing part two and part three will show the other characters flashbacks in the airport and on the plane. I'm just worried about the others coming. And I did say the only way I suppose you can get the hatch open is by... C4s or like some sort of explosive. So, you know, <laughs> I'm glad that they, they thought about that. But I didn't think about Danielle and her booby traps. But yeah, they've gone to the Black Rock. And I suppose they're going to get that hatch open. I'm guessing part three, we're going to see that hatch opened. The thing is, like, won't the others know? I mean, if they're coming for these survivors, aren't the others going to... going to be around that hatch? What's even in that hatch? And I'm surprised that... Danielle or no one's noticed the numbers that are engraved. I'm guessing they will notice eventually. Though they are tiny. I mean, you've got you to really be 
looking at that to notice but yeah wonder if, if they'll notice that now going back to that scene with jack in the airport with anna lucia i'm trying to think where that's going and the reason why i find that scene strange uh more than the others is because that's michelle rodriguez she's not exactly a small time actress you know even then in that 2004 2005 so like was she just used for that scene and it's kind of making me think now did other people on the plane survive because there's some chemistry there between the two clearly and where's that going I mean, we could see more flashbacks on the plane and whatever but yeah i guess the person who's playing that character is what's got me a bit suspicious i mean it could be a one-time thing because we saw robert patrick but this is to do with the plane she was on the plane if robert patrick was on the plane i'd kind of expect him to show up on the island you know but yeah this this one it's pretty strange she's well known and there seems to be something with her and jack already so yeah i'm now starting to think more about this more about the other survivors on the plane we saw it completely detach and you're like how did they survive that but you could say that about our survivors right now how the hell did they survive this it's a miracle as we've heard before so yeah those are my thoughts coming out of part one of this finale really good episode already one of the best just because of the soundtrack and the scenes like that whole ending part was pretty damn emotional the show really does know how to get you doesn't it with a goodbye with these characters and <laughs> vincent going out and he went to be a vault ah uh, but i like what walt did there he give vincent i guess temporarily to shannon because uh like he said when his mum died he had vincent vincent was there he was listening and shannon lost boone so you know it might be good to have a vincent around a, a pet so yeah going forward i'm worried the others we've got these characters that are in dark territory i'm thinking at any moment a character can just die um and yeah it's all it's all still so strange just thinking about danielle the others she wasn't even with alex what a week claire's had her baby recently i did say when ethan wanted claire i was like maybe they want the baby i'm not entirely sure what it could be about a new life being born on the island could mean something and where is alex i mean if it's 16 years ago we could very well see alex soon it's another character we could see see now i'm going off into all sorts of theories and thoughts but you know that's what this show does to you so those are my final thoughts coming out of this episode that was lost season one episode 23 titled exodus part one hope you enjoyed the reaction and as always cheers for watching